A database is a collection of data that is grouped together in an organised way. There are many advantages to the use of databases to store information. For example, they are easy to search using queries. They also make it easy to create reports to present information. You can also easily update and delete information in a database. Databases store data in tables. This is an example of a table that is used to store student details. Each individual piece of information in this table is known as a field. For example, last name is a field. All the information related to one object or person is known as a record. For example, this is the record for John Curtis. It's important that each record in the database is unique. So what happens if there are two people with exactly the same details? This problem is solved using a primary key. This is a special field which uniquely identifies each record. In this table, the student ID field is the primary key. Keeping all of the data in one table can lead to duplication of information. To get around this problem, we split the data up into different tables. These are known as relational databases because they contain multiple tables that have relationships linking them together. In this example, there are two tables, one to store student details and one to store class details. They are linked together using a foreign key. This is a field from another table that is used to link the tables together. In this case, the student ID field is the foreign key in the class table. Structured Query Language, or SQL, is the language used to search databases. Here is an example SQL query. The SELECT statement is used to choose which field you want to show. In this example, it's the first name field. The FROM statement is used to state which table you want to get your data from. In this case, it's the student table. And the WHERE statement is used to filter the results. Here, we want to show all records where the gender is male. Here are the results of this query. If you want to show all fields from the table, you can write SELECT and an asterisk. You can also sort the results using the order by command. This example will sort the records by last name in descending order. You can also select fields from two linked tables. You write the table name you want to get the field from, dot, and then the field name. The from statement must include both tables. In this case, it is the student table and the class table. You also need a joining condition. This tells the database which records should be joined together. This will normally use the fields that are used to create the relationship between the tables. In this case, it is the student ID field. The condition joins the records that have the same student ID. You can write queries to add new records to a table. For this, we use the insert into command. This example inserts a new record for Susan Wright into the student table. In addition to adding records, you can also delete them using the delete from command. This example query deletes student three from the student table. Finally, we have the update command. This allows us to update a record. This example query updates the address for student 2.